Hi. Now, in this question, we first of all got to express 2x squared minus 20x plus 49 in the form p times all of x minus q squared and then plus r. And to do something like this, to put it in this format, we call this format completing the square. So I'm assuming that you're familiar with completing the square. If not, you can always check it out on my website. So we've got 2x squared minus 20x plus 49. And when we've got a number in front of the x squared, what we do is we pull that number out the front of a bracket. And there's two ways we can do this. We can pull two out across these first two terms or across all three terms. It's up to you. I'll show you both methods. If we just pull it out across the first two terms, then it will be 2 multiplied by x squared minus 10x. And then I'll close the bracket and then we'll put the plus 49 on. And then what we do next is we say that this is identical then to 2 multiplied by, and when we complete the square on these two terms here, we have our bracket, we put a squared there, and then in the front here we put x, and then we halve what we call the coefficient of x. The coefficient of x is minus 10, so we halve it, and that gives us minus 5. Now, if you were to expand this out, you'd get x squared minus 5x minus another 5x, which is minus 10x. But then you get plus 25. We don't want 25. It's not here. So we just subtract the 25. Then I'm going to close the bracket. So this is, in fact, x squared minus 10x then. And then we've got plus 49 on the end. Now, if we expand the bracket, we've got two terms inside the bracket. So it would be 2 times the first term. That would be 2 times x minus 5, all squared. And then 2 times the minus 25 gives me minus 50. And then we've got the plus 49. And if we tidy this up, then what we've got is that it's identical to two lots of x minus 5, all squared. And then minus 50 plus 49 is minus 1. And we've got it in this particular form. Sometimes we're asked to quote the values of P, Q and R. If we were, then P would be the 2, Q would be the 5, and R would be negative 1. Now I did say that there's another way that we could do this, and that way is by not pulling the 2 out just across the first two terms, but across all the terms. So if I did that, okay, then it would have been identical to 2 multiplied by x squared minus 10x, but then I would have had to halve the 49. I'd write it as 49 over 2. And then what we need to do is complete the square on the expression inside the bracket. So I'd put a square bracket up and again have a bracket like this with it squared, put an x here and we halve the coefficient of x which would have been minus 5. Okay. And if we square this out we would get x squared, that term there, we'd get minus 5x minus another 5x which is minus 10x but we would have minus 5 all squared which is 25. So I haven't got a 25 up here, so I take the 25 and I put in the 49 over 2 so that it's exactly the same as the top line here. Now, when I multiply out, I've got 2 times the first term here, which is x minus 5 all squared. And then 2 times minus 25 is minus 50. And then 2 times 49 over 2 is just going to be plus 49. And so I've got exactly the same line there, and it just goes to this stage next line.
okay so it's not really much difference in it it's just up to you whether you decide you want to pull the two out of the first two terms or take it out over all three okay well in the second part of this question it says state the coordinates of the vertex of y equals 2x squared minus 20x plus 49 well this is an obvious answer um, the answer is actually that the vertex is at the point 5 minus 1 but I'll explain why okay in a moment but for the moment though we have got the graph y equals 2x squared minus 20x plus 49 and we've already seen that the expression on the right here can be written in this format okay so it's good idea to go for that format and when in this format as I say the vertex which I will explain in a moment the vertex is at 5 minus 1 but why is this well it relies on you, your knowledge of say transformations of graphs if I just sketch a couple of axes got a y and x here okay then suppose we look at the graph of f of x equals x squared okay so f of x equaling x squared is a basic graph parabola something like this we'll just label that f of x equaling x squared now what I want to do is start to head towards this expression here on the right and the next step is to replace the x with x minus 5 and if I do that by looking at the graph of f of x minus 5 in other words I replace this x here with x minus 5 then I get x minus 5 all squared and what this does to this graph is it shifts the graph 5 units to the right it translates it in other words 5 units parallel to the x-axis so you're going to get something like that and this point here where it's touching the x-axis is at the point 5 next I want to create this 2 here in front of the x minus 5 all squared so what I'm looking at next is to consider doing the graph of 2 lots of f of x minus 5 in other words that's going to be 2 times x minus 5 all squared and what does 2 in front of a function do well, we should realize that it stretches the graph by a scale factor of 2 parallel to the y-axis with the x-axis invariant so this point here on the x-axis doesn't move but the graph is be going to be a lot steeper on these stretches okay this point for instance will be doubled it'll be up here and the graph will come through here okay down through there down at the five and then go back up something like that okay now we come on to the last part where we subtract one and I'm going to do this again on separate axes here and what that does to our last graph the blue graph is that by subtracting one it translates the graph the blue graph down one unit so what we've got is that this point here which is at the moment at five zero is now at five negative one so just put that in again here there it is five negative one and this point is called the vertex and our parabola is going to look something like this but just always be careful when you sketch your parabolas in if you are asked to sketch it that is because you just want to check where it crosses the y-axis and that's when x equals zero and when x equals zero these terms will go out leaving you with y equaling 49 so it's going to cross above the origin now this is not drawn to scale but hopefully it will give you an idea anyway that that is our graph this point here as I say not drawn to scale is at the point 
where y is 49. But this is our vertex here, that's what we were asked for. And I did say that we should be able to state it, okay, state the coordinates of the vertex because when it's in this format, we should really be able to see these kind of stages going on in our minds. That we take our x squared graph, translate it five units to the right, multiplying it by two doesn't change the vertex, which is now at five zero, but then we subtract one so it goes down one unit to the point five minus one. Okay?